President Obama has announced a new round of sanctions against Russia, but do they go far enough? Politico's Kevin Cirilli is here to explain the impact and how Russia is responding. Good Friday morning to you, Kevin. Happy Friday, Kelly. Thanks for having me as always. Absolutely. All right. These sanctions are going to hit 20 individuals. Who are these people? Why did President Obama choose to target those people? President Obama chose to target Vladimir Putin's inner circle by cutting off financial services for these folks. Uh, the argument being that if they can't have access to the U.S. banking system, they might be able to put pressure on Putin to, uh, to, to slow down uh, and to pull out of, of Crimea. But the sanctions also affect a big bank in Russia. It's the 17th largest bank. Why that institution? Great question. I think that the reason that the U.S. chose this particular institution, Kelly, is because they want to say, hey, look at this example. If we if we cut off one bank, just think of what we could do with a lot more other bigger banks as well. All right. He also signed an executive order that's going to potentially broaden the scope of the sanctions. Tell me a little bit about that and how that could affect Russia's economy. So if, if the rich, if the richest of the rich and uh, don't have access to U.S. banks and, and, and U.S. financial services and are Aren't able to engage in the U.S. economy really in Russia, that really does have a trickle down effect, the argument goes. Now, yesterday in Moscow saying that this could also have a boomerang effect because if they're not going to be uh, doing business in the U.S., perhaps they could go to other places like China, for example, though we haven't really seen that play out before. Either way, this always, and I can't stress this enough, this always has the, the potential for the U.S. to escalate more economic sanctions. President Obama talked about this executive order yesterday. Let's hear from him now. I signed a new executive order today that gives us the authority to impose sanctions not just on individuals but on key sectors of the Russian economy. This is not our preferred outcome. These sanctions would not only have a significant impact on the Russian economy, but could also be disruptive to the global economy. Now, it sounds like a step in the right direction, but do you think the sanctions go far enough? You know, I, I think we're going to have to wait and see. And, and we kind of saw this yesterday from Moscow kind of laughing at these sanctions because they, they issued a ban on a couple of, of lawmakers and top advisors in the Obama administration saying, you can't come to Russia. Uh, so so I, I'm not sure that they go far enough. It depends, I think, but we'll, we'll, we'll certainly be watching to find out. Yes, and some familiar names definitely came <laughs> out of that. House Speaker John Boehner, Senate Majority Leader, Harry Reid, um, uh, uh, Senator John McCain, I mean, and, and, and they were making light of it on Twitter, Senator Mary Landrieu, uh, and they were like, you know, this is a badge of honor. I don't think too many lawmakers want to necessarily be going to Russia nowadays anyway. All right, I'm sure this story is definitely going to continue. We will have you, have you back for more, Kevin, in the Thank future. You. Thanks so much. That's Politico's Kevin Cirilli. And remember, for the latest political news anytime, all you have to do is head over to politico.com.